All right, guys, so we're back on the 26 Wildcat, which is the big brother to the 22 that we just reviewed. I wanted to show you the front here, and uh, before I even get started with the front, I wanted to take one second and show you something. They really spent a lot of time on the gator step. So many people are just doing these square diamonds or squares or just straight lines. It's nice to see that some people actually took some time to put some industrial design into the, into the flooring of the boat and make it look nice. So now we're gonna get back to the actual Wildcat itself. Large bench seats. Again, we got a lot of freeboard, so you have a nice deep and tall uh, gunnel storage, cup holders. They'll offer lights in there. They can do USB ports or anything you want. It's uh, pretty standard on all these things. This one is actually, uh, to sit backwards is a little more comfortable than, you know, you see the pictures of it and you think, oh, it's straight up and down or it's kind of narrow, but it, honestly, it's pretty comfortable. And then uh, sitting sideways, got a nice lean to it. They, uh, they took the, the uh, handrails off the top of the gunnels here and they put them down here to maintain the lines of the boat. I like that. The only downside of it is, is if you're sitting here, eh, not, not, not ideal, I guess you'd say. If you sit right here, it's a little more comfortable. But we'll show you here. This is actually pretty comfortable as well. I think I'd like to see a little more of a rake on the backrest, but again, it's a custom boat. They'll build it however you want. So we can check out the storage. This is a customer's boat. Uh, but just to give you an idea how much stuff you can put in there, they got a lot of stuff in there. They got tubs and tubs and tubs of something. So those storages go way down. Uh, show you guys something real quick. Most of the 28 foot deck boats only have access from the sides. I like this because I'm old and I don't want to have to crawl under there and dig all that. But you can see we have a bunch of camera gear in here. It's a very, very large cabinet. You can also get to it from right here. One of the things I really like about this boat, the up top cooler. I would use this. If we're going out for just a few hours or a half a day and you got five people with you, this cooler is big enough. It's self-draining, goes right out the side of the boat. It just makes things easy. You're not tripping over coolers everywhere in the boat, etc. So let's take a look at the back here. Mike, you want to walk by me? If you go in the back, this is a 26, not a 28, okay? So in the 28, most of the traditional deck boats, you're gonna have a, a bench right here, or you're gonna have an L shape like this, and some of them have like a little gap, like a Howard 288. This one does not have a gap. You can sit right here, put another one or two people right there, or you can just put three across this way, which is probably more likely than uh, the original sideways sitting here. I don't know that anybody's going to want to sit that way. We're going to check out over here. There you got a, a fuel tank. So probably not the best place for storage, uh, unless this one might not be finished out. I know it's a customer's boat, but they just finished it recently. These, uh, these I do not know yet. Yeah, yeah, so you do have storage under the passenger seat, probably here in the corner as well. So, oh, just under the passenger seat. So, we're learning together here, guys, right? Pretty, pretty typical, you know, of, of uh, most boats. A lot of the other deck boats either have an integrated cooler right there or storage. This boat's got so much storage in the front and in the cabinets. I don't know that you're gonna miss that little bit, but if you were, we saw the engine hatch earlier, you can put a box in there or they can build you a box for fender storage or other dry goods storage. So that's kind of our little video tour of the 26 Wildcat. We're gonna go rip it real quick, see how it runs.
here. Uh, we're just wrapping up running the 26 Wildcat. So my only complaint about this boat, and it's only unique to this boat because it's, it's something that was overlooked, is there's a pretty gnarly rattle right here that I was hearing when I was driving. It's the windshield, a little bit of weather stripping and tighten the screw and that's fixed. Cabinets are going to rattle a little bit no matter what deck boat you're in. Uh, so that's pretty typical. As far as how it handled, this boat turns very, very flat, very safe. It does not lean to the inside, but you can't make it lean to the outside. And I put it in some pretty awkward positions to try to see uh, if we could do that. But it, honestly, it, it's a very, very safe, very docile boat. Uh, it is fun to drive. If you get it going upwards, you know, in the upper, in the 60s, and you trim it up, it likes to sit right on the tail and just kind of skip across wind chop, which is always a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, no, it's just a good running boat. You know, Big Two Force was a huge fan of these. They're very fast given the power. This one with an HO, full tank, me, Michael, which the other one of us are small guys, camera gear, which probably another 100 pounds. Uh, we ran 64 miles an hour at 4,800 RPM. And uh, like I said, we put it through its paces and I really don't have a whole lot of bad things to say as far as how it ran. It, it turns sharp, it, turns, it, it, it really likes sweeping turns. If you trim it right, it likes sweeping turns in the 60s, 50s, and 40s. 30's okay, 20 and below it starts to fall off plane a little bit, but it's still it'd be very good for a uh, for a boat for pulling skiers and whipping around to get them like in tight spots down like down in Parker Strip. Uh, when you get down into the 20s and the slower speed turning, it actually does lean to the inside, but again, that's going to be pretty typical for most boats when you start going slow. They're all going to do that. But uh, I think Cheetah did a great job. I think they hit it out of the park with this particular one. I love the colors. I love the interior. I think uh, the flooring. We already talked about in the review earlier. Clear to the water. Uh, just a great job. For under a hundred thousand bucks with a big block, you can't go wrong. Some personal touches to the boat, and you, you got yourself a lot of bang for the buck. And uh, that's pretty much what I gotta say. I, I, I don't see how you can go wrong with this boat for the price that they're asking for it. I think it's good times and, and, and family memories, which is what boating's all about. And uh, I think that this boat checks a lot of those boxes. For a very affordable price. Anyhow, guys, we're gonna go throw it on the trailer. Thanks so much, and we'll uh, we'll see you soon.